What's going on guys, welcome back to Daily Boosted. So we've been using this mat um, to build our Lego, but uh, all the black pieces are pretty hard to see. So what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna make a new stencil for our Lego. Uh, we're not gonna use the black one anymore. Uh, I have this bad boy from uh, PC Case Gear. Uh, it's white. So all it's missing is Daily Boosted on it. And then that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. Uh, we're gonna get uh, the actual Lego cutter. And uh, once that's done, we gonna make some more LEGO videos. Alright, so this thing is all done. Now what we have to do, we gotta get rid of all the excess uh, vinyl, uh, we're gonna do that right now and uh, it's gonna be time to actually heat press that onto the new mat Okay, so we got our new mouse pad. It's all white. Hopefully it stays clean Ooh, stickers nice And it's washable This is what it looks like Needs to lie down a little bit. Still got that shape. So this is a box, and what we need to do, we have our cutout. I'm not sure if you can just see it, uh, but we gotta pull all that, and that's gonna go right on it. So let's get rid of the, all the excess stuff. Alright, so that's all done, uh, we just need to find that little bit over here, uh, I think it's stuck somewhere, uh, so I'll have a quick look for it, and uh, this thing will go onto the mat right here like this, and then obviously we're going to use the heat press to get it on there, and we'll do that just in a sec. Alright, awesome, so our Print is ready to go. I uh, used the ruler, it's all measured up. So we have uh, 12 centimeters, 12 centimeters, 9 and 9. So that's in the middle, it's also 12 to the top. Uh, the heat press is almost done, uh, so we're about to press it. I use about 190 degrees uh, for 20 seconds, and I do double press. So I do 190 degrees 20 seconds, and 190 degrees 10 seconds. So uh, let's quickly put some thermal paper on, which is right here. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to slide that on. Make sure all the little details in place the way they're supposed to be. Slide this bad boy on. It's really slippery, shouldn't move anything. Everything seems to be still aligned. Everything's covered. So uh, let's do the first press. Uh, once the press is done, uh, what I do, I use scissors and quickly give it a rub to get everything on. Uh, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take this uh, to the couch. Uh, I'll put that on the cold surface, let it cool down. And then once it's nice and cool, I can peel the actual plastic off. Okay, so that's done. Now we're slowly going to peel this off. Okay, that's not too bad. 
I haven't done this material before, this is a bit different. So far it doesn't look too bad. I'm just gonna say it's better than expected for now. And what we're gonna do next, uh, we're gonna double press it. So this is not finished. Uh, we'll get all these little bits fixed up a little bit. All right. Uh, this is a bit thicker than the t-shirt as well. So I usually use t-shirts for this. And because this is obviously not a t-shirt, it's thicker and rubbery. So we got our thermal paper back on and we'll do 10 second press. <clears throat> and now use our scissors to get everything to the Here we go. So obviously on the first press it still had parts which haven't been glued properly because it still had plastic but as you can see the effect is actually really good and the material is totally different to the t-shirt it's not the same cloth material so that looks really sweet I'm pretty happy with that we gotta do we gotta do one of those bad boys I'm not sure if I want to do it here or here or here uh, give us a comment I'll add this obviously later on but for now this is ready to go and then whatever gets the best opinion that's the corner i'm gonna put it in so let us know and i uh, hope you have a great day